Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another full caser of 2018 Panini Donner's Optic Football brand new release. And this is a St. Nick break. Someone's going to win one of those gift boxes back there near the Christmas tree. So big thanks for, to, to everybody for getting into this one. You've got a chance at some extra prizes, including some big hits out of here. So happy holidays. All the details of that promo are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got more of this on jazbeescasebreaks.com too. Andy... Last spot mojo bangles. There's everyone else right there. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for getting in. Appreciate it. Um, our first hand, we've done a we've done a full caser of this. Then we did a half case. And so far, they've been looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So let's see how this one does for everybody. All right, Steve Freeze in the house as well. He's got the Broncos. All right, so good luck to everybody. Hi, Steve. All right, let's see what we got here. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Uh, I think we discovered that there are no, uh, I mean, there may be hot cases that exist, but there are no hot case in existence right here. Ran out of trash space here. All right, Brent in the house as well. Sup, Brent? How's it going? Box number one, one autograph per box. No hot boxes, at least that we've seen as of yet. No one's mentioned the existence of hot boxes either. Um, a few downtown inserts that we've seen, and those seem to be doing pretty well on a secondary market. One auto per box, handful of parallels per box as well. It's a good looking product. Donner's Optics Football has always been a popular release from the get go. Kind of fills that. Fills that hole left behind by uh, Topps Chrome Football. Brandon Card Collector's calling it. Rashad Penny Auto. Live? A live Rashad Penny Auto? We've seen some live Rashad Penny Autos here and there. Looks like he's caught up on signing all his cards. All right. Let's breeze through these here. Now, it's vet base doesn't ship, but all these inserts like this definitely will ship. Numbered cards will be sleeved, top loaded before they get sent out, of course. And our first autograph is rated rookie auto, Anthony Miller. Most of the autographs are on card as well, which is a good thing. And so that'll go to Da Bears, Matthew K with that one. 005 out of 110. Quiet the last couple weeks, but I think overall, decent rookie campaign for him. Dallas Goddard to 199. We haven't seen any Baker Mayfield yet, Cody West. Uh, Brent, I think they are doing the that hybrid product, Contenders Optic, this year. I think I saw a preview, it on, preview of it on the uh, Panini blog not too long ago. Andy, with Andy, out of 299. Calais, out of 99. There's Dallas Goddard again out of 99 for the Eagles. That'll be for Michael Gallucci. Eli Manning out of 50. I guess his Hall of Fame career coming to an end. That goes to the Giants. Justin Patterson with that. Cruz. Who's in Alaska? He's fine. He's okay. Nelson Aguilar to 199. Sam Darnold to 199. We saw Randy Moss one of one in the first full case. That was nice. Saw some of these downtown cards. 
that downtown card that goes to Patrick Kane, the Bills. I think Rich Schmidt was saying earlier that these that this one goes for like forty bucks. There you go. I'm gonna keep the parallels right next to me right here. And next box, ladies and gentlemen. Cam Newton downtown. That would be pretty cool. Uh, Steve Freeze would like to see Panini Black Gold Football make a comeback. I would too. I feel like if they if they kind of tweak that product a little bit, you know, a few improvements here and there, trim down the checklist a tad, you know, tighten up some of the more popular inserts and sets out of that set. I think Black Gold would be really cool to see. They brought that play, playbook this year, so maybe they've got some designs for Black Gold either for late 2018 or maybe even uh, maybe even for 2019. Yeah, we did have, we had another one of one. Was it Mike Evans? I forget. All right, box two. This is Pick Your Team 2. We have time for Pick Your Team 3, ladies and gentlemen. If we fill Pick Your Team 3 by the end of this break, we can do it. It was Mike Evans. Nice. That's what Brandon is saying. You know, the, with the black gold cards, there were some 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 uh, damage issues. I think a lot of the cards with the big emblems inside, which look really cool, they, I think I don't think they were glued down right by the manufacturer, and so they kind of rattled around a little bit. But like I'm saying, it, conceptually, I really liked it, and I think a lot of people did too. So I don't know. They could they could always cycle cycle, cycle back to it, circle around back to it. Give it another go. Uh, I'd, 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 like, I'd love to see Black Gold make come down. Yeah, or if we don't fill uh, an optic case by the end, it's either an uh, optic full case or a Bowman draft break. By the end right here, we'll have time to squeeze those in before we call it a night. All right. Next box, downtown Baker Mayfield. What does that go for? And poor Darius Geis. Season over before it started. Uh, Darius Geis for the Redskins. That's one to hold on to, Patrick K. As you probably know. Nice on-card auto. Five out of 75. That goes to the Browns. That'll be for Mark. Andrew Hart's asking what ships out of here. So obviously numbered cards like Josh Allen will be sleeved and top loaded and shipped out. Rated rookies Rashad Penny will ship. Kid Reporters won't ship. Zeke Elliott, Rob Gronkowski, no. Patrick Mahomes, it's a parallel, yes. Out of 299. Luke Falk, RC, rookie cards, yes. Antonio Brown, no. Carlos Hyde, no. Miles Garrett, yes. Out of 149. John Kelly, yes. Andrew Luck, no. Blake Bortles, yes, because it's a, it's a refractor. It's not numbered, but it's still a parallel. So, yes, on that. Inserts like this, yes. Denzel Ward, yes. Goes to the Browns out of 149. So there you go. That, was there a jersey number? I don't know where that went. Jersey number on that? It's already in the pile of parallels. And obviously, inserts like this will ship too. There's Vic Beasley Jr. out of 199. David Duffy with the Falcons. I wonder if that whole Falcons defense didn't go down with that, I guess, cluster injuries, as you, as you can call them. If that didn't happen, I wonder how their season would have turned out. 
There's Jordan Wilkins for the Horseshoes at a two ninety nine. All right, next box. Yeah, jersey number on that, Bills. There you go, Patrick K. Nice. All right, next box. We've got a couple games on Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what do you guys think? Redskins at Tennessee. Just straight up. We'll, we'll talk about spreads later this week, but... Uh, Washington at Tennessee, straight up. Who wins? Redskins. Somehow they're like some. They're they're like a zombie. You think they're dead, but they're kind of not. I think they have an, they have an outside chance at a playoff spot. I think Tennessee also has. They got they got a lot more to play for. They're a better team. It's got to be Tennessee. That's got to be easy, right? Yeah, everyone's saying Titans. What is the spread on that game right now? Now I'm curious. That's the early game on Saturday. It's uh, Tennessee minus 10. Wow. Oof. Yeah, Derrick Henry's been going off at the right time. That's hashtag good for the hobby two years ago. But I, I don't know. I mean, Redskins are 7-7 seven and seven for some. They had two quarterbacks die. <laughs> you know, like, actually, Alex Smith all, had a weird uh, infection with his surgery on his leg. That, that was actually kind of scary. And then Colt McCoy destroys his leg. He, he might actually be able to come back sooner rather than later. And But somehow, there's, I don't know, they're eking out these games. It's kind of weird. But uh, it's crazy. Andrew Hart saying, I don't know how you take that spread comfortably. Right, Tennessee minus 10. You almost have to, any guess on that redemption? The sharp play, I think a lot of sharps will just, on principle, will just take plus 10 on that. Under sounds a little bit better on that, Andrew. I think ESPN has the over-under, the point total at 37. There's Mike White, 7 out of 99. There's Justin Jackson. Parallel, not numbered, but a cool velocity style parallel. There's Mike Evans at a 299. Melvin Gordon at a 99. That AJ Green looks a little different, doesn't it? No? Just a re refractor? All right. But yeah, can you count on? I don't know. I guess Cream Hunt, or Cream Hunt. I guess uh, uh, Derrick Henry could go off. Tennessee minus 10. Well, the Redskins actually have a decent defense. That's the that's the other thing. There's Lamar Jackson. It's 299. Demarius Thomas, 299. I'd ultimately pass on putting anything on that game, but unless there's significant value one way or the other. I don't know, I'll probably play it. What am I who am I what am I saying? I'm gonna play it. All right, redemption is going to, didn't stand up the way I went, is Bradley Chubb. That's a big Chubb. Rated rookie autographs blue. Bradley Chubb, that is. It's a family show. Denver Broncos, Steve Freeze. Steve Freeze, a, a Broncos man. Also, Oppo Joe Mojo. There you go. Nice chub, Steve. Bradley Chubb, that is. Easy guys. This is a this is a family friendly show, ladies and gentlemen. Rated G.
You're welcome. So what, what about your Broncos, Steve? Do you, you guys have a shot at the playoffs? I, I have the Broncos under seven win total. I won my Browns one, finally. Brent is not... Brent, you're not too thrilled with this rookie class? Saquon Barkley, if the, if the Giants were decent, if, if the... Uh, if the New York football giants were decent, Brent, everyone would be talking about Saquon Barkley. You, you don't, not inspired by Baker Mayfield? That's a good one. Josh Allen's been playing well. Calvin Ridley had a had had a solid run. The receivers will take a bit of time, so will the QBs. But Nick Chubb also playing well for the Browns. It's a good class. Last two years, last year's class has been really good. This year's class has been really solid. Next year's class should be good too. So like the this looks like the RPA right here. Any guesses on the RPA? Yeah, rough season for for the both of us. Yeah, exactly. I mean, was, you know, Rory's right. Which one of these quarterbacks? One of these quarterbacks is going to go off, right? It could be a Patrick Mahomes. Next thing you know. Wait, who wasn't? Voted to the Pro Bowl? I don't even pay attention to the Pro Bowl, Andrew Hart. What a joke. I feel like that's that whole thing's just a mess. I'm not, I guess I'll watch it. But Rick Barker saying 2017 was better? Is that only because we know what they've done a year later and this season? I think we may be slightly a wee bit biased on that just because we've already seen what they can do in the second year as well. So we can always look back and say, I don't know. We've got, out of 299, Kenyon Drake, Carson Wentz, out of 99, Wentz Wagon, shut down for a little bit. Oh, Darius Leonard? Yeah, on the Colts, right? The Colts player? Yeah, the, the, and Andrew Hart, that's why, that's, that's why the Pro Bowl's a mess. Out of 299, James Washington for the Steelers. Rick Barker hoping Josh Rosen will be the guy. I like Josh Rosen. I mean, I'm a UCLA guy, but I like Rosen. Makes a lot of good throws. There's AJ Green, 25. He's just on a terrible team. We, yeah, we were having a discussion yesterday. Everyone's like, it's, there are some people who are just like, Rosen's a bust, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I, I mean, I guess he could be. We need to give him a little time, but but he's also on a bad team. Well, I think a more more of a poorly coached team. So they may have to make a change at some point. Where's the oh the autographs right here? I was I kind of freaked out for a second. I was like, where are the auto? But that's the it's the RPA. I think I already went through these. Yeah. And then behind Terrell Suggs is, looks like Panthers colors? It is. This DJ be DJ Moore. Eight out of 35. Nice. Two color patch and autograph. You gotta stay on the sticker, DJ. DJ Moore going to the Panthers. There's Andrew Hart. There you go, Andrew. I think these are only one per case, right? These RPAs? Pretty sure. Right, Rick. Well, I got nervous, Rick Barker. When uh, Steve Wilkes, I think, coach, like after week three, week three or four, he's like, I guess we got to, you know, we got to change up the game plan, make sure David Johnson gets the ball more often. And I was just like, and I heard that quote and I was like, wait, what? David Johnson? I know he's coming off an injury, but you just figured that out. This is as mind-boggling as my coach, John Gruden, who was complaining about pass rush <laughs> in like week four or five of the season. Pass rush and how it's so difficult to find good pass rushing in the NFL these days. And I was like, well, kind of had one, bro. Yeah, Andrew Hart happy about that one. Yeah, that's a solid one. I'm digging it.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about almost halfway through this break. Remember, we got to fill another optic by the end of this break if we want to get a chance to do it tonight. Otherwise, we'll do it tomorrow. Don't worry. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, or Bowman Draft Baseball. I know there were some, some, uh, some shouts for Bowman Draft Baseball. That also has to fill, or the full cases also have to fill by the end of this break in order for us to uh, have a good chance at doing it before it gets too late. Oh, no worries, Brandon. Card collector saying, thanks, Joe, again for pulling me those Rosens. I think it's going to be great. Just need some O-line help. O-line help would help. Need some receivers. Maybe you use David Johnson more often. Better play calling. I don't know. The scouts are all, all – the, all the scouts said that Rosen had the most – he could make the most types of throws really well. Right? You want him to throw a bomb? He's got it. You want him to throw a soft pass? He got it. You know, a bullet? You got it. You know, over the shoulder, outside shoulder, inside shoulder. He's not going to get his receivers killed, you know. Fairly accurate. You know, maybe can move a little bit. I think people were saying Josh Allen was the one with a cannon for an arm, but not really much variety and being able to make different kinds of throws. But he's got some legs, which is interesting. Josh, so Josh Allen, I like that he's been doing a little well, doing pretty well. Lamar Jackson, uh, the, the accuracy is just not there. I think, I th but he's got great legs. There's Andrew Luck to 199. We'll see what happens. You know, if they if they can if they can make Lamar Jackson a little bit of a thrower, I mean, pretty good. There's DJ Left Shark, to 299. Speaking of Left Shark, who's the uh, who was the uh, that was the that was the Katy Perry Super Bowl halftime show? Who's the halftime show this year? Have, have they announced that yet for the Super Bowl? It's like in a month, a month and a half. Joe Flacco's done. Sorry, Joe. John Kelly had a chance the other night when Gurley got that little knee knock. Could have started taking over the game. Hashtag good for the hobby. No, not quite. Anthony Miller I have faith in. One out of 25. Is it really Maroon 5? I guess they're all right. It's safe. Marlon Mack. I, w I would enjoy an Elvis hologram. I think that would be kind of cool. I would not be, I would not be opposed to Elvis hologram, Rory. There's Dalton Schultz. That's your autograph. One of the few sticker autographs in here. That goes to Dallas Cowboys. David Duffy with Dallas. Maroon Five's not doing it anymore. No one wants to do it. I feel like that's a. So that's a high exposure kind of thing, right? Just get, I don't know, you can always do, just get a, I don't know, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess it's kind of tough. All right, next box. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess just holograms and I think Rory may be right. No one wants to do it. Just bring back holograms. Just have a uh, Oh man, that that Prince Super Bowl halftime. You guys remember the Prince Super Bowl halftime show? That was pretty good. Let's get Prince hologram to do it. Oh, hey Mike K, what's going on, man? What's going on? Yeah, just get Prince to do it. Prince hologram. You know, yeah. As much as, as much as I'm not, I'm not the biggest Bruno Mars fan, but but halftime show wise, I mean, he gets people moving. Everyone likes Bruno Mars, so that's right, Andy Garner. It rained during Purple Rain. Yep, in Minnesota, city lit up purple. It was pretty nice. Who remembers when marching bands were the halftime show? Brendan, are you? I think you may have just shown your age there. Nick Jaspi's dad remembers. He's considerably older than a lot of us. 
bands. Like, Joe, there were marching bands. They would just, they would be like the state state championship winners or whatever, you know, would, would go there and they, they'd have, they can do the, the halftime show. All right, first half almost done, folks. Second half coming up. Hydration break? Ah, uh, okay. Four, he's, card collector's only 14 years old, but got a good sense of history. I like that. Out of 199. So he's just he's just a fan of history, Rory. There's Kareem Hunt. Come on, Kareem. Pretty much wasting everyone's time, Kareem Hunt. Carson Wentz, Eagles, out of 149. No, um, and a nice downtown Ronald Jones is second for the uh for the Buccaneers, Michael Gallucci. Um yeah, I think it were they, they were usually like some sort of state championship or national championship marching band or some famous college marching band that would go out there and do it. Um, when I was, um, I think last Super Bowl week, I did I did a playlist. I got, I'll probably bring it back this year too. I did a playlist of all the Super Bowl songs from week from like Super Bowl one all the way, I don't think Super Bowl one had a halftime show, but I think starting with whatever Super Bowl it was. But yeah, so the early ones were all marching band songs, you know, of just like the classics, you know, and then it's Golden Tate. And like, that's the way it was. I forgot who the first, I forgot who the first one was, like the first like, like vocal singing artist. Whoa, Baker Mayfield. Rated rookie autograph, nice. Mark with the Browns. There you go. So Brent, I don't, I don't. You know what? I think I had, I didn't really appreciate Prince until a little bit later in life. Same with Bruce Springsteen. Um, Vanilla Grill is saying, Joe, when Hunt lands on a team, he will still be a great player. So why are his cars in the tank? Well, they're they're in the tank now because of the video of him knocking a woman to the ground and kicking her. That's that's bad optics. This guy didn't have a video. That's why. All right, nice Baker Mayfield, nice downtown, right there. He'll be back, yeah. I mean, as opposed to Ray Rice, you know, he was a little bit later in his career. And he wasn't already, I mean, he had a decent year the year before, but he was a little bit older. So, but, I mean, it's uncomfortable for sure. But, yeah, he's going to get re-signed. Baker Mayfield, not number. That's just a refractor. Oh, was it numbered? Sorry, <laughs> it was numbered. <coughs> Don't listen to me, Andy Garner. Listen to your Andrew counterpart. 21 out of 99 on that Baker Mayfield. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that's a bad one, Brandon. Um, yeah, it's going to be like, listen... Houston Astros uh, signed Yuri's Familia. I think that was him. You know, Yankees signed a role as Chapman. So I don't know. What do you do? I think Joe Mixon on the Bengals got in trouble in college. It's a, it's a weird, I mean, what they did, obviously, not weird. You know, that's bad. But how how the public as a whole, broadly, how they, how, how they publicly punish, you know, the players is always, is, is different. 
You got a video of this act? Terrible. And bad optics, bad branding for everybody. You know? You get crushed more for that. If you don't have a video, guess what? No, no, no video. Remember, Tyree Kill got into some issues. No video? Makes less of an impact. You know, Joe Mixon, I guess, I, I guess, you know, he was already uh, punished. For some one way or another, you know, and I guess now it's second chance for him. You know what I mean? So socially, it's 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 very odd, especially for us as collectors too. It's it gets kind of dicey on on how you do it. Do you put do you put those people on your fantasy teams? Do you invest in their cards? Do you? But for right now, I mean, if we're talking strictly hobby, you know, it's it's obvious why his cards are tanking right now. Kareem Hunts. So if you feel that way, Vanilla Gorilla, that he'll be he'll be given a second chance and he'll be great again, well, buy low. Be the guy that buys low on Kareem Hunt. I know you got to think about you think about the the clubs that have to you know they've got a duty to improve their team. You know, but I'm sure there there are a lot of you know executives, men or women who have daughters. You know, and you're you're signing a guy like that on your team. It becomes difficult. Got to talk to the person. You know, are we? You know, do we want to give people second chances or not? I don't know. Are some things unforgivable? Maybe to some. It's a difficult situation. This guy too, right? So now are we liking professional athletes because they play well or because they're good citizens? Charles Barkley famously said that he's not a role model. But it gets tricky because then it's just what what is everyone's level of acceptable remorse and acceptable whatever you know and that becomes the hard challenge for anybody who's in, in a situation like that you know you can look at someone you can look what, what if kurt ben kurt gets a dui right and maybe injures someone in a car crash and you're like what an a-hole kurt ben kurt right sorry kurt ben kurt if you're watching and i'm just using you as an example but it's different when, let's say, your buddy gets your best friend from from elementary school that you've grown up with. He gets a DUI. Does I mean, you can look at Kurt Ben Kurt, someone you don't know, and say, "What an a hole." But what if he's, what if he's your best friend? You know, doesn't that get tricky? No, yeah, no, I hear you, Vanilla Gorilla. Yeah, it, you know. So, at what what point? What point is is this, at some point second chances are okay then? Right? But I think I think everyone, whether you're on the left side or the right side of the conversation, I think everyone crucifies someone for for everything, for anything, just because it disagrees with their left and right, whatever their position is. You know, there's double standards everywhere, on all sides, all over the place. That's what makes it difficult. Like, because it's like, it's like a buffet of anger, right? It's just like, oh, I choose to be angry about whether you're on the left or the right. I choose to be angry about this, 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 but not that, but this. Be, uh, I, say, I say be consistent with your anger if you're going to be angry. You can't pick and choose. It's not a buffet. A morality buffet. This is okay. That's not okay. I think that's the funny part about all sides, left or right. I'm more, 
I'm more annoyed at how the NFL handled the situation. Baseball seems to be pretty consistent about their domestic violence policies. And they, they've got a pretty hard line policy. Good for them. Goodell? It's just like, whatever. He's just, it's inconsistent. It's all over the place. It pisses everybody off. No one's happy about, you know, this guy gets punished more than the other guy. This guy doesn't get... What's going on? Right, well, yeah. Vanilla Gorilla is coming at it from... From his many years of law enforcement, everyone's guilty. <laughs> uh, that's what all my law enforcement friends will say. And it's like, you know, I'll talk to them about that sort of stuff, and when police get get involved in the, it's like they're like, listen, it's not a it's not a race thing. You know, you work this neighborhood, you learn to hate those type of people. You work in the other neighborhood, you'll hate them too. <laughs> you know, because you see the worst of every, you see the worst of everybody. Out of 199, Lamar Jackson. Wow, look at this. Patrick Mahomes. Three out of five. Patrick Mahomes. There you go. Davey Allison. Yes, named after the old driver. With the Patrick Mahomes, three out of five. Ooh, nice. All aboard! Whoop whoop! What a hit! That's nice! That is strong. There you go. What's this? Elite Series? Nice! In that Elite Series design, Vic Beasley Jr. autograph, David Duffy. Falcons, Dirty Birds. One out of 50. Tyler Conklin, out of 99. That's a nice box. At the end of the day, folks, I mean, can't get... I don't know. I'm 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 more like, hey, take care of your own business. Be a good person. Try to be good. Stay positive as much as possible. And if everybody kind of does a does a little bit of that, maybe it all works out at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, Vanilla Gorilla. Mike, just, uh, Mike Bobby, just join a break. Let me send you a gift. No, we can't retract it. I already saw it. Um, it's part of our promo. Tons of gifts still remaining, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, at the end of this break, someone is going to get a gift. Is this a gift break? St. Nick? St. Nick Jaspi. Oh, jolly old St. Nick. He's got there. You got it. plenty of gifts under there. <laughs> Vanilla Gorilla, I'm going to be a good person and send you a gift. It would, I would be a good person, Vanilla Gorilla, for not giving you a handout. How about that? See, then we all win. We learn the value of, uh, of gift giving. And receiving gifts. We all learn lessons. You're too much of a pessimist, Andy Garner? Yeah, I get pessimist. Everyone gets pessimist. I think pessimism is... I, I, I think maybe cynicism is probably what you don't want to have. Eh, you can get down on things. That's fine. We're humans. It's like the people who are like... Here's what I don't like. I know we don't talk a lot of politics here, and we're not really going to get into it, but, but it's like when people are like... When people are like... In California especially. Ah! This person got elect. I'm moving to moving to Canada. I was like, "Are you gonna give up? Are you gonna give up that easily?" <laughs> That's what frustrates me. Downtown Tom Brady. 
Look at that. Patriots, Karen with her pats. I've heard of that guy, Tom Brady. I've heard of him. What is a Tom Brady down? I know these downtown inserts, people are saying go sell for pretty well on a secondary market, eBay, but they don't pay us to say eBay, so I don't say it. On a secondary market, pay us eBay, come on. I heard they do pretty well. There's Adam Thielen, the man of many catches, and a green Troy Fumagalli. Steve Freeze with the Broncos. One out of five. Another train whistle. Are we going to get a one of one soon? Getting warmer. Steve, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Oppo Joe Mojo. Wisconsin guy. Rory knows all about him. Are we going to do sports memorabilia? We did. Vanilla Gorilla. We did TriStar Quest Live. We had our Fanatics authentic jersey breaks. Those are some uh, those are some live sports memorabilia there. We've dab we've more than dabbled. Does this guy dabble in an MVP, ladies and gentlemen? Equinamia St. Brown. I think the Packers have the most three name the most three name wide receivers in all of the NFL, right, Rory? Logan Woodside to 199. There you go, Steve Freeze. Back on track. Wow, that Brady's selling about at around $200. And Rory's suggesting there's kind of a lot that are popping out, so maybe those values won't hold like that, but at least for now, by the time you get these in the mail, they shouldn't they shouldn't be falling by that much. And Jair Alexander, 41 out of 50. There you I see it. Almost didn't spot his auto for a second. There you go. Packers. Speaking of the Packers, Jeremy Scott on the board. 41 out of 50. There's Dylan Cantrell. Remember in Alice in Chains? I know it's like Jerry. All right. Three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so Steve's actually saying that downtown Brady, there's actually one up there for 100 but the last one sold was for two. Why would that guy do that? That person with the one should, have, should sell it for two as well. Come on, collectors. Help each other out. <laughs> Man. You gotta hold fast on prices, ladies and gentlemen. Right, exactly, Rory. Yeah, I hate people who reset the market. You got hashtag pay attention. Stay woke. On Tom Brady downtown insert prices. That's annoying. That just ruins it for everybody. They got, you know what? eBay should hire some hobby veterans. You know what I mean? Good pricing guys. And just be able to go in there and be, and, and like kind of work something into the coding or the programming of eBay. So when you list a card, it gives you some better feedback on what previous cards have sold for. You know? And that might help avoid situations like that. I don't know if I don't, Karen's a Patriots fan. I don't think she's going to sell that card. But but if someone were to sell that card that we just that downtown Brady, I would tell that person put it up at two hundred again. You know, and when someone's like, hey, the other one sold for a hundred, you know, just be like, well, this one's going to sell for two, just like the first one. <laughs> you know, maybe you, you you can negotiate down just a tad, but not a hundred. Wow, really? Rick Barker is saying that the Mahomes is about five hundred dollars. Well, see, this is why people like optic football, ladies and gentlemen. 
There's Jamon Moore, rated rookie at a 99 for the Packers. Almost done here, folks. Lights, Camara action. That's a non-rookie card. Yeah. If that goes, or that's that's crazy talk. Are people are people thinking that he's gonna win uh, MVP? There's Nick Chubb, two Browns, another Chubb. That's our second Chubb today. Now Bradley and Nick. It's family show. This Chubb. Six out of ten. Five out of ten on that goal. There you go, Mark. Nice. You got the Baker. Now you got Nick Chubb. Nice low number. We got downtown Bradley Chubb. And there you go. A couple Chubbs. Sam Darnold to 199. Chubby chasing, ladies and gentlemen. Bradley and Nick, that is. From downtown. I like these down I like these downtown cars. That's not what downtown Denver looks like, but. That's kind of a stereotypical idea of what Denver, what Colorado is like, right? Well, that's what it's like. It's just mountains and mountain goats and and uh, whatever the horse's name is, Whistler. Is it Whistler? Is Whistler dead? Different horse, maybe. There's Josh Norman to fifty. Like, they're not even in. They're not even in Boston. They're outside of Boston. <laughs> that's that's Tampa Bay doesn't look like that. It hasn't looked like that for for a hundred years. Tampa Bay doesn't look like that. I've been a hundred years since Tampa Bay looks like that. Is this what? This is not what Cleveland looks like. I don't know. We didn't go to the Nash. <laughs> Buffalo is just the Niagara Falls. That looks like the Canada side. There's Kalen Balage, a two ninety nine. I hope so too, Rick Barker. I was like, Ey. no, fresh case, so you never know. I mean, maybe we, maybe you'll get the parallels. Demarius Thomas, at a ninety nine. Uh, Rory's asking Joe, are you gonna come? With, are do you have do you have a room for me, Rory? Probably, I would think that it would be after the National. I don't know how we are going to the National. I just don't know how we're going to the National. In Chi-Town, summer of 2019, ladies and gentlemen. Close to the airport. There you go, Rory. See? That's, that's the kind of positive thinking that I'm talking about. And it's not even delusional thinking. It's just positive thinking. You know, you could be a downer and be like, no, probably not Rick Parker. What's what's the fun in that? That's just being a Debbie Downer. Or Daniel Downer, whatever. Just a downer in general. But yeah, Rory's like just like, you know what, Rick? Maybe a gold baker Mayfield. Maybe maybe a hollow Nick Chubb autograph. Maybe some downtowns in there. Who knows? There's only one way to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Fill them up. Uh, so I don't know how we're doing the national, Rory. We may not break there, but just be there for a few nights, which is which would more time to hang out. I know. I was gonna say. I, I, I think you, I remember you telling me that your spare bedroom has been converted to your card room. So I was like, where am I gonna sleep? No, no hot boxes, Steve Freeze. Brian Hicks, probably not. Not anytime soon, anyway. We're, we're always on the hunt for uh, playbook football at a good price, but with Donner's, with Donner's Optic coming out, I think uh, Contenders coming out in early January, we'll be busy with all sorts of other football. But if and when we find a playbook football at a good price, I'm sure we'll bring it back to the shop. Just check jazbeescasebreaks.com every day. I'm running out of trash space. This is gonna be it's gonna be pretty close, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty close. Uh, it did. It did. 
go up in price. So that's what makes it a little bit difficult because at a certain price point, you guys are going to be like, eh, I'll just buy optic football instead. And then we're stuck with all this expensive playbook. See? See what happens? There's Dallas Goddard out of 199. Dallas Goddard, you're gonna go over there. So yeah, that that's that's the tricky part about because there'll be people who'll be like, don't worry, Joe, we'll 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 pay the price increase. Playbook's that good. Maybe that one one or maybe that handful of people will, but with all these new releases coming out all the time, you know, they're the site becomes a little crowded and they're like, well, maybe we'll just go with the with a nicely priced optic football. But it is good. Playbook is good. I get it. That's why the price is going up. There's Danny Etling. Rory, who's got a shop up in, a uh, manager's shop up in Milwaukee, he says someone caught us not adjusting to the price and bought you out. Come on, Rory. Rory's like, terrible dance with reorder pricing. You respect it so much more now. It's tough. Out of 199, Jimmy Garoppolo. That's, it is it is kind of weird. Um, I think that's kind of the underrated. Oh, there's R to the Izzo. R to the Izzo. That goes to Karen and her Patriots. I think that's what the difficult thing is with, uh, I mean, that's like the bulk of Nick Jaspi's job when he's not breaking on Sundays and Mondays. It's like he's trying to, he's just hunting around different distributors, trying to find some good prices, keep the, you guys buy us out all the time. So it's like, we got to keep the, keep the store loaded for you guys and girls or else you guys get bored <laughs> with the site. Last box coming up. So... So yeah, it's it's tough. But then it's just like, well, then at what price? When do when do we not, you know, go the more expensive route? It's a it's a difficult little uh, little dance. It's stock market, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty much stock market. Oh, we're always looking at market prices. What's going up? What's going down? What's the right time to buy? The not right time to buy. Maybe we wait. Maybe we get playbook a little bit later. You know, maybe a few months later. You know, we can bring it back and it'll be a popular break to do and not break the bank. Brian Hicks saying, luckily you hit your Barkley 975 book with a nice multi-patch and auto in a box that you bought. Nice. Well, yeah, hopefully we can do it. Rick Barker likes Obsidian better than Playbook. Yeah, we knocked out... How many cases of Obsidian did we do, boys and girls? S seven? Five? Five? Five to seven cases, I think. Those were those were really nice. We did one recently. We had, we had a, a case left over. Did one recently, a couple days ago. Knocked one out. Cody West wants to know how many cards, base including included, have my hands touched. I don't know. Probably, probably, a, probably millions. All right? Think about it. I mean, this break alone has full case of this has what? How many cards are in here? 20 times, what's 20 times four? 60? I can't math, 80? 80 times 12? And then times that by, you know, think about the average number of, remember we did, we did a 20 case break of Bowman draft a while ago, a couple of years ago. I'm, I must have nicked it like half of it. I must have done the other half. That's a lot of cards. Maybe Vanilla Gorilla. I can't, I can't guarantee that. Because then, then I'm, then next thing you know, everyone won. There, why, why does Mike Bobby get one? Next thing you know, I've got to, I've got to do an autograph for everybody. And then, and then. Then the business is wondering, why am I autographing more cards than breaking cases? Then I know what guys like Denzel Ward feel like when they have to sign sheets and sheets of stickers for these products. Is that numbered? No, it's not. James Winston, orange, out of 199. Yeah, we did a 20 caser. I don't know, Rory might remember. Was that two years ago, three years ago? 
Some of you might remember us doing a 20 case break. I forgot how we did it. Was it a, I don't think it was random team. Maybe we did it by player. And we did 20 case and it was like a random, or not a random player, but a pick your player break. Another Tom Brady. From downtown. Was it four years ago? We did a lot. The videos are there. It was, uh, it was, it was the days when, when I guess we weren't breaking as many cases every night, so we had time to do it. <laughs> and we've got Quentin Nelson. Velocity, black velocity autograph for Lou and the Colts, the horseshoes with the last auto in here. Ryan Izzo to 149 for Karen. And Jair Alexander at the end. And there you have it, boys and girls. Uh, just one randomizer to do. Very easy. It's going to be the Christmas gifts that are behind me here. All right, so everybody has a chance. Remember, any break that has St. Nick in the title, St. Nick Jaspi. Nick Jaspi breaks with you on Sunday and Monday. Uh, St. Nick set up this promo here. Very nice one. Everyone has a shot at it, from Richard Johansson all the way down to Patrick Kay and everyone in between. And we only have this many... Oh, there's the pug. We only have this many boxes left. We've done a few already, so only 17 boxes left. Let's get that in here as well. Let's randomize each list. One and a five, six times. Names first. One, two... Three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. Name on top. Five, four, three, two. Davey Allison. There you go. Congrats to David. Now let's see which box you're going to get. One and a five. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six times. It's going to be box number six after six. Good luck. The bottom box, bottom box on the very back, box six. All right, good luck. All right, CSD Freeze, good to see you in the breaks and in the chat. Happy Christmas if I don't see you before then. A box of 2018 Topps High Tech Baseball. We might be able to find that guy. In there. So that's a nice box of Topps. There you go. So congrats to David. Nothing else inside. Congrats to David. There you go. That's a nice box. Got 40 cards, two on card autographs. Let me know what you get if you end up opening it. Thanks, everybody. Um, Every St. Nick break is eligible for one of those boxes back there. So get into it. Good luck, everybody. Give it a shot. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. we got more promo details on the site as well if you want more details. See ya.